This video is sponsored by Field Pulse. Use the link that's in the description below and try risk free for seven days. What's up, guys? Figured I would uh, film this one as I just got here. Got my probe set up inside, and it looks like the system, the outdoor unit, short cycling. So let's see uh, exactly why it's doing that. So I did notice the air's really cold coming out. Not a good sign. And something else. No caps. So that's not uh, that's not usually a, a good indication it's been being kept up. So all right, so got the probes hooked up. We do have a hard start in here, which don't really mean anything these days. Used to you only seen them put on when um, when the compressor is having a hard time starting, but nowadays it's good to have them put on, you know, brand new just to help that compressor from gaining too much wear and tear. It's a pretty common practice now. There is definitely a lack of maintenance. Let's kick this thing on. Um, rest and pressures. So should, we do have refrigerant in it at least. Let's see. I have already been inside when I did the when I put my probes in the uh, return and supply and did verify that the blower is going. These trains do have a tendency of leaking around the coils outside. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is just look and make sure we don't see any obvious oil anywhere. Got the door off. Back here where they they do tend to develop leaks. We're just going to make sure we don't see any oil anywhere. It happens a lot where these cross right here and they start touching each other and then we'll, we'll start leaking there. Okay. And they also will leak very often down here where this line is going up under the coil to go to the compressor usually we'll see this line here or the uh, line going to the compressor will start to leak it definitely needs to be clean though i don't see nothing super obvious the oil anywhere all right let's watch it again and see exactly how quick this this uh suction line falls keep this contactor pulled in. Let's go up in the attic and uh, take a look up there real quick. So I have verified that the, the vents are open. I know it's the new filter, I've already checked that. The capacitor is leaking oil and it is reading a little low. Still wouldn't cause it to look that bad. I'm gonna take this door off on this coil and we'll just do a quick leak search and see if uh, we might pick up a leak in here real quick.
we'll use that outside and just uh, just to make sure. All right, I'm not usually super successful using a leak detector outside. Um, I usually get a lot of false readings just from where the probes are hooked up or where your gauges are hooked up. It usually uh, tends to, to pick those up. The R82 is supposed to be a little more accurate than that, so let's give it a shot and see. Now we're at manual zero. I had a subscriber that recommended using this setting. I've noticed that it makes a different noise. It sort of makes like a pulsating noise. It's 100% leaking there. But this system is about 13 years old. You know, it's it's been around for a while. This is going to be a, a pretty big repair that they're going to have to do. So part of my job is to give them their options, tell them we can do this, we can do this, and always recommend what I would do personally. So the customer did decide to uh, perform the repair instead of replacing it. When I was making the video, I was going over the different options and going to go speak with them, but they did decide to do the repair. There will be a video coming out soon uh, showing the full process of replacing a train condenser coil. And if y'all haven't checked out Field Pulse and you're looking for a business software for uh, your HVAC company, check out Field Pulse. They will blow you away with the great customer service they provide and a half the price of all these bigger companies. So click on the link, it'll be in my description below and you can try them out completely risk-free.